almost done setting this up. I don't know why, every time I start a stream... I guess it's like it's been so long that the computer kind of forgets where my audio is. But uh, this should be pretty sweet. I'm actually trying a new setup as well, so it's kind of... Hopefully everybody got the music. And uh, let's see, controller is working. Hello there. This should be pretty, I'm pretty ecstatic. Now, the today's stream is, it might be fragmented into, uh, wow, the music's epic. It might be fragmented into like different parts, mainly because there might be some interruption, uh, maybe two hours down the line. And, uh, yeah. But other than that, it um, it's Elden Ring time. What are we playing on? Because I hear complaints on PC port with keyboard and mouse. I am playing on Windows, uh, Windows 11. So there might be some, like I've heard of the news that you know a lot of people are complaining. But like at the same time, every time I've seen people discuss about performance issues, they're always talking about oh, it's it's like it can't even hold like 40 frames a second or 60 frames a second and in my mind I don't think I have a habit of playing games higher than 30 frames a second anyways so I have it set up where especially on the laptop and this is something that I will always uh, I guess champion or always try to um, encourage people to do is that if you are playing on a laptop um, do try to cap the frame rate the there's no reason why the laptop should try to go 60 frames a second or even above um, it can and if it can then sure but you're you know it's it's not good for the hardware long term they're not designed to push out that much uh, like you could say, oh, well, gaming PCs are designed to do that, sure, but a laptop is a laptop, and it's enclosed space with, like, tight electronics and heat distribution issues and stuff like that, so I always, uh, cap my frame rate to 30 anyways. So I don't believe that we'll have many issues, but I'm also going to, uh, play around with this, these settings right here, because half the stuff I don't even need. Uh, motion blur is off. This is great. I don't really need depth of field that high, you know. Um, ambient occlusion. It's like eh, it's, I'll keep it a medium because having it off might be good. Medium is uh, decent. Um, depending on like this is SSAO, so it could technically affect my frame rate, but I don't believe it will, but I'll, I'll keep it a medium because I don't really need that, especially like anti-aliasing, like I don't need anti-aliasing. Um, if it looks bad, then I'll, I'll probably increase it, but uh, and it's, of course I'm saying this, like when people play games like, like 1080p or um, higher resolutions like 144, uh, well 1440 or even higher 2K, etc, etc, um, anti-aliasing is kind of like redundant um, so I just keep it at low and I say that's kind of like hypocritical because I'm also I think I'm playing this game at um, 720 <laughs> so yeah. I might take advantage of anti-aliasing like because pixel density is lower uh, so who knows shadow quality uh, I could probably get around with medium, volumetric medium. Uh, ooh, low and high? Where's medium? Alright, keep it at high. I kind of want to see what the surface quality of the water will do. But, who knows. Um, yeah, medium this. Global illumination, this is an interesting setting. So this is probably affecting uh, the graphic card memory. 
So I'm gonna go medium on that. Uh, shitter quality, keep it at high. And then hopefully, if I do this, does it save my stuff? It did, all right. I uh, just had to double check because you know, a lot of games, especially on the consoles, like when you had like press B to back or whatever, it doesn't, there's usually a confirm button or save and then back or whatever. So now I just got to double check on that. Yeah, so I'm a, I am running at 720p. So we got to see on that. Uh, but yeah, before I jump in, um, I know this is a lot of teasing me as much as it's teasing you guys. Uh, Elden Ring is a game that I've been waiting for quite a while, um, because I'm... I wouldn't say that I'm a huge fan of Dark Souls as a series, or the Bloodborne, or uh, what is the other one, the Demon Soul. Um, but at the same time, I really like them. So, for me, open world in this context opens up the... Um, the game a lot to me and not just opening up and there is an open world but like it opens up as in making it more accessible for me because Dark Souls I think one of the biggest complaints that I might have about the series as much as I like it it's that uh, if you're struggling on a specific path you're kind of SOL there's probably like an alternative path but it's like very linear for that specific path um, so it's non-linear like the game itself is non-linear structurally but when you're doing the thing you know when, in a given path it's very linear and each time you die you kind of repeat the same uh, environment over and over and over again so it gets tedious for me after a while so for me, Elden Ring is, you know, it hopefully will allow me to go elsewhere if I feel like, you know what, this isn't working out for me at this, like I maybe not have the state, right state of mind for the specific dungeon or what have you, so I'll, I'll just go on a left, off the beaten path and, you know, discover something else. So to me, Elden Ring is an idea that I could get a little bit deeper into the, um, the Souls franchise. Um, wow, what an abrupt audio. Uh, couldn't have faded in, eh? Okay. Well, I'm playing with... It's not a good setup for me to judge darkness levels, but you know what? I'll, I'll go next for this. Uh, I have no idea. Hopefully this is good. Cinematic effects. It's like kill cams and stuff. Auto wall recovery. All right, let's keep it on. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, hello, okay. So, what do we have? These are the, of course there's like a naked uh, version, okay. What is that, the, uh... oh, they call it wretched, but the, I think in the Dark Souls, they're called Deprived. Um... See, I don't know how much this matters. I found this game easier to get into than the earlier games, which is kind of what I'm hoping. Um, not that I need... Not that I want, I should say, an easier game. I just need something that is more varied when difficulty sets in. You know what I mean? Um, like, if you're... In, in the Dark Souls games, typically, it's like, if there's a boss that you can't beat, the, the only thing you can do is essentially keep trying and maybe f farm some XP... Uh, here and there. So, um, in this case, I'm I'm not much to grind and farm XP, so I feel like here will allow me to um, branch out a bit. 
Megamon is like the jack of all trade. Okay, that's interesting. I'm assuming they start with equipment, just like the Dark Souls. Uh, the other classes start at level nine. Megamon is there. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Help button is useful. Yeah, which one is that? Um, is it this button? I'm, I'm assuming this is the help button. I'm on the, uh, I don't really have like an Xbox controller. So f this is playing off of a uh, Nintendo Switch Pro controller, which has done wonders for me while playing um, Monster Hunter World and uh, Dark Souls 3 on PC. So yeah. Uh, I love Demon Souls and Dark Souls, but I found Elden Ring boring. I don't get it. Will be interesting to get your take on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, because I'm kind of going in blind. Um, but like, if I could take a guess, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong or anything like that, or maybe there's some truth to it, but not necessarily 100 percent. But typically, open world has can come side by side with sandbox, and sandbox have an uh, I um, can be, have an issue with the idea that there's not much to do because it's a sandbox. You can do whatever you want, but there's like so much emptiness that there's nothing really to do. So you just end up being bored or going in circles and then just log off. I don't know if that's the case, but I'm thinking maybe this game, because it's not, you know, heavily structured uh, the way that the other Souls games are, that could be it. I'm still thinking of my class, though. Like, I, th I know I got screwed on my first experience on Dark Souls 1, the Prepare to Die edition, when I picked... I think it was Bandit. It came with binoculars, and binoculars didn't do jack. Uh, is there a way to look at... I'm pressing buttons here. Is there a way to look at, uh, I guess maybe if I press? No, I don't want to confirm that. Aha! It's Y on the... So... Interesting. The mapping seems... I thought the buttons were inverted. Or did they make it compatible with the Switch? Inter um, I don't know. They have the Xbox colors. Um, so I am pressing Y, so maybe Y is on top. So the mapping on controllers has nothing to do with the actual orientations of the buttons. It's specifically the ID of the button. Okay, so that makes it easier for me to deal with, because that means that if it's Y on the screen, then it's Y on my, on my um, controller. Uh, so that's good. Uh, third person games really work, feels best with controller. Well, they're designed for it. That's the problem in my mind. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example that had mouse or that was designed specifically with mouse and keyboard. And I'll be honest that mm, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. So I'll grant you that one. Uh, it gives you better menu after the one you can switch classes in the next menu. Oh, okay. I hope you enjoy End of the Ring. Good luck. Thank you. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I guess each character has like a little candle. Or that little yellow kind of stick. I'm kind of curious to try a bandit because it's got a bow. I 
I, I guess I could always switch it, right? Like, it doesn't really matter. We'll be, be streaming the whole game. Dude, I don't know if I can stream the whole... Well, not in one day, for sure. Um, if you're... Asking if I'll be uh, streaming the entire experience to the point where I reach the, the entire game or the uh, the end of the game, hopefully, maybe, um, we'll get around to that. Uh, I know that with the Dark Souls, when I do streams, I don't always stream when I ha only have like a half an hour to an hour of gameplay or uh, gaming. I might not necessarily do a stream. So sometimes there's progression that's not being uh, like broadcast. Um, but I don't really play a lot of games these days. So it's one of those things where when I sit down to play, it's for long periods of time. So maybe I'll be more, yeah, I'll, me inclined to, um, oh yeah, they do start up. They start at different levels. What the? I figured they oh, would all start like at maybe level five. There's a level 10, freaking Confessor. Kind of looks good, though. Um, all right, I'm going to go Bandit, because I'm a sucker for that. Choose your body type. What does tech does that mean? Let's type A and B. Uh, there's no preview or anything? Like, Is it like buff and skinny? I guess that's a, that's a body type, I guess. All right, so let's see body type. Yeah, let me see a preview of the body type. I don't see a difference. Oh, buff and slender. Wow, that's uh... okay. Very subtle. Um, it's left and right of the example images, men or women, if you want to be politically incorrect about it. But that's not what's being happening here, unless this body type is different than the other body type I chose. I went with warrior due to starting with two swords. But I wish I started with confessor. Yeah, I, I kind of like, I'm assuming the confessor is more like a... a like a caster, maybe like a priest or something. That would be kind of interesting to play one of the Souls games with magic. I don't, I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, but oh, there it is. The keepsake. Is that the binoculars thing? Medallion increases maximum health. A gold of grace shining in the eye. The gold of grace. Shining in the eye of the people of the lands between used to gain many runes. So this is a caster thing? I start with Vagabond, but I am a beginner from, from some sort. I, I think, like, I don't think it matters too much. Um, I know, like, for the latest um, playthrough of Dark Souls 3, and I say latest because Dark Souls 3 has a... I, did I say two? I meant three. Um, has a nasty habit of, like, Deleting my saves. Uh, but yeah, I chose... I think I chose Knight. And I'm starting to, like, cast spells with it. Like, some healing. Or maybe I was Cleric. Yeah, I think maybe I played Cleric. Which was, like, my introduction to spell casting, And I heavily focus on, like, Knighthood. So I, like, wear, like, way more heavy armor and stuff like that. And I only cast, like, a healing spell here and there. I think that's what happened. Maybe it only matters for min-maxers. Maybe. I don't know. Because um, as much as I like the series, I'm still very um, unknowledgeable about a lot of things. Reinforce Sacred Flask. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, container con thrown items. Magic and Souls games always seems like a challenge to me. Yeah, same here. Um, 
Magic is way more accessible in Elden Ring. I'd definitely consider it. Yeah, and I, I'd have to try it out. Um... I'm guessing, like, with the open world, the idea of using a bow kind of seems um, appealing to me. But then again, I could technically do range with magic, so who knows? Crackpot. Shit like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues, but can only be used once. What the heck is an imp statue? Five sacred branches turned. I guess you just pick with. I guess one of the things is that they always say, "Oh, here, here's a medallion, right? That's the first one they they put on the list." And maybe that's because it's like it's health. If you don't know what to play, you know, just pick the health one. Um, Boost physical damage negation. That's consumable? I will go with um, the seed. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And um, I like gold. So. Right? Uh, whoa, what the. Why am I suddenly a woman? Or is that a woman? Interesting. So you were right about... Huh. The description is... Interesting. Alright, let's go with that and... Um... Age, will it matter? I don't know. Whoa, a lot of buttons on the bottom of the screen. What the heck? Switch view. Is that a switch view? No, that's zoom. Okay, so these buttons are LT. So my LZs are LTs. Okay, and then these do nothing. Unless it's like... Oh, that's the joy. That's joystick. Okay. I thought there were shoulder buttons. Um. So how do I tr sample X? It's a lot of sound dying. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not too surprised. It's like if you want to play Gandalf, you just take it. Okay, so... Trying to think of, like, what's a voice that will be the least amount... I guess <laughs> sounds like constipation to me. Yeah, I, I, I suppose. Uh, don't want to play too much with like skin because I feel like skin, the way they handle it in games, like skin color tends to just change like a hue on the texture, and it doesn't look natural. Uh, although this one doesn't look that bad. Uh, is there a way for me to zoom in? Yeah, that doesn't look that bad, closing up. So maybe they have like a different texture per... Then again, considering the palette, maybe not. Okay, so... Adjust face template. But yes, please. Bone structure? How many bones do I have? Oh no, okay. What 
they were never really good with faces. Gotta admit, I can't remember ever hearing my character. Yeah, you know, drowned by the sound of your own voice, like shouting uh, obscenities. Um, they don't look that... I can sort of notice the differences. I think I'm gonna go... Mostly profile stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I'm not gonna dwell too much. I think I'm just gonna go with five. Yeah, I'm gonna go with five. Form emphasis? What is that even? Oh, okay. I don't see the difference. Oh, I see it now. Interesting. Form, okay, I sort of get what they meant by that. Uh, I'm going to go... I kind of like... 50? Yeah, that's a good chiseled look. Um, age... Does that change anything? Is it going to spawn wrinkles? I can sort of see it. But maybe because I, I kind of lowered the texture quality. Or did I? No, I think I kept the texture at high. But that doesn't really... Let's see... That should be fine. Facial aesthetics. What is that? Do you play with the jaw? I don't know. I don't see anything. I'm just going to keep it. All right, so that's the face. So now what? Face structure. Why, why is that on different menus? Okay, so jaw width. Narrow. There you go. Gotta keep it. Sounds about right. What about the back? Yeah, that's a good jawline. Jaw protrusion. Is that what I think it is? It is. Okay. We are going to keep it as such. Lower jaw, that should be. Oh, that's not what I think it should be. <sighs> Sometimes, while I love customizing a character, some of these things are so subtle. I mean, I guess they, they everybody learned from Oblivion, right? It's like, oh no, don't do like Oblivion. But even Oblivion sometimes has like a few sliders that were just too subtle, uh, if memory serves right. Oh, that's a good line, but I'm trying to figure out what that does. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's subtle as hell. Uh, can we... Drop it? Yeah, let's keep it like that. Um, that's the jaw, the chin... See, part of the... I think it was like... 
jaw protrusion, I would have put that as chin. Spent 30 minutes with my character only to be covered by a helmet. Yeah, I mean, there's that too, right? You're covered with a helmet. But, uh, still, you, you gotta... I mean, you gotta... Depth, height. Sixty-nine, yeah, all right. Not that it matters too much. Okay, so we're gonna keep it like that. I'm not gonna change too much. I just wanna see what's available. That's already pretty wide, but let's, um, let's give it a nose. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't have a, that big of a nose, but what is this? Oh, okay, there it is. I'm gonna droop my nose a bit. Eh, gotta fix the eyebrows. Okay. Is there a way to like move the eyebrows like further apart? Because they look, or maybe I need to change the the positioning of my uh, eyes because it looks like the. Um, I mean, compared to the face, the eyeballs are, seems to be in a good spot, but the eyebrows don't look like, eh, it's not that bad actually, now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, no, I see what they were doing. Okay, so I'm not gonna change any of the eyes because that tends to mess everything up. I will change this. I was going to do another 69 for a second there. Um, -na -na. Nose bridge width. No, that's fine. Forehead depth. That's fine. There's also a location in the game where you can adjust your tarnish character features again. Oh, okay, interesting. So they kind of let you... There should be like a giant tax seg. Don't worry, you can... You know. If you're too excited, just, just play the game. Um... No side. Oh, that's the, the freaking... Oh, that's just more wide? The, the, oh, I... Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting this. Um, there's a reason why... Nose is... Don't have a lot of like extrusion um, parameters. It's mostly in width, which is why I have a hard time these days making characters that sort of look like me because they always have short noses. But they do that because of helmets. So that's okay. Can't fit in the helmet yet. So we're gonna go. There is eyebrows here, so... But it's just... Okay, there's different types of eyebrows. Interesting. I want... I mean, number four wasn't bad. But... I want something a little bit... Hmm... 
I'm not sold on most of these. Two doesn't look that bad. The thing with character designs, when you think about eyebrows, the bigger the eyebrows, the more... And this goes as well with the eyes. But the more expressive you can make a character. But because we're going to be third person... There's probably not going to be a lot of like dialogue where it's like there's a close up of your character's face. There's probably not very much. Like this isn't The Witcher or anything like that. Um, how's it going? I hope you enjoy the game. So far, it's decent, but we're we're at the character screen, so uh, can't say I have uh, beards. That's another thing with, like, I was talking about nose not fitting in a helmet. Beards is the same thing. Um, they keep it short. Hair. It, beards and hair, you want to keep it short because you don't want to rig them. You can easily attach a ponytail and say, do physics. But the moment they get lo longer than that, you kind of lose control. Uh, this ain't bad, but that's usually my, yeah, I'm going to go this and what my eyes, what the freaking right? You control each eye independently. Is that, where's the left eye? Right eye, right iris color, right iris eyes. Right, left, okay, left iris. What the freaking. Is this like a lore thing where it's like they can't do the same? Or is it going to both be. Okay, they're both right iris color. That is such a weird way to explain this. Um. He looks like the guy I used to work with. <laughs> Interesting. So I am going to... That's a good blue. I like blue. Well, I'm biased, obviously, but still. Um, could probably go darker with the hair. But what I want now is... Oh, I missed it. That's why. Ha-ha. This is what my hair looks like with the pandemic and everything. Okay. Oh, that's closer to... That's yeah, after I shower. Those are kind of like HD versions of th something that you would see in a like, Lord of the Rings game. Uh, except for maybe this one. What's the... Oh, they got anime? Or maybe they mixed in men and female together. Maybe that's what they did. Because that does not look... Yeah, that's a... Okay. Full cut. Uh, I'm going to go with my usual... thing. I'll keep it lighter. Uh, temp I tend to use, I tend to prefer like darker uh, hair uh, for my characters, but because of lighting conditions, a lighter tone will probably do better for this game. Uh, skin features, I don't need that. Eyeshadow. Guy already looks tired, so I'm not gonna add raccoon eyes normally I would um, eh, he looks nothing like me but that's eh, similar face I'm afraid to click this 
Oh, interesting. They do variant. Oh, that's so cool. Th this is freaking genius. Whoever came up with this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I already kind of like this version right here. So a similar face will take what you've set up and then they just kind of shuffle it so it stays within the parameters that you've set but gives you more variance. That that is really cool. I'm like I'm already impressed. This is my favorite system. Dragon's Dogma had that in its character creator. I don't remember the Dragon's Dogma character creator, but I do remember it being very similar to Dark Souls. So that, okay, applaud for this, because that's awesome. Um, kind of wish that Oblivion did the same. <laughs> um, but you know, uh, you set standards. Okay, so let's go. Hopefully I won't be alter body. No, I'm not changing any of that. Um, save. Sure. There you go. I heard several people compare Elden Ring to Dragon's Dogma. Maybe it shares some devs. Um, maybe, but there's a lot there's a lot of parallels with Dragon's Dogma because the the type of aesthetics, um, maybe not so much the themes, um, but the aesthetics, the way that they kind of handle combat. Now, the different combat systems, but the way they approach combat is very similar. Uh, I think the biggest difference is that... Uh, Dragon's Dogma has a lot of like the traditional um, levels, like maps that you load. Um, so it's it's kind of like a um, oh, hang on a second. Someone was at my door. Okay, sorry about that. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so Dragon's Dogma is more like a... Uh, like, in terms of world or map, it's like a Dark Souls, but, like, fragmented in different, like, maps, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of parallels, I think, to be drawn there. Uh... Okay, so I do have clothes. That's good to know. Oh, name. This is an easy one. Wait. Right. I kind of expected the uh, the Switch keyboard to show up, but there isn't because it's on my PC. Haha. -ha. Surprise. Okay. Starting a game with this character. Is that okay? I don't know. Is it? I hate it when games do that. It's, it's like... I hope it's okay. I mean, the, my guy looks kind of cool with the the, uh, the dagger and the buckler and everything. So I'm just going to go yes. Oh no, what am I doing? It's loading. I don't even know if it's going to work. Are you sure you want to play this game? Yeah. There's that too, right? There's that angle. But for me, it's more like, you know, oh, there's a mistake. Are you sure you really want to do this? 
kind of like when you do a test or a quiz and you answer the question, it's like, is that your final answer? It always gives you like doubt. The fallen leaves tell a story. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Oh, interesting. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all knowing. I'm getting goosebumps just from the music itself. And one other whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. There I am. Across the fall. To the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring. Okay. And become the Elden Lord. Interesting that they went with um traditional artwork considering that their past games um heavily uh, utilize like CGI to make their cinematics at, at the very least like from what i remember Dark Souls 3 was uh CGI heavy and i'm not saying that as a, uh, in a bad way i'm just saying that they went 2D this time which I guess kind of puts more emphasis on the aesthetics of the world, kind of like medieval type of thing. Um, 
much prefer this artwork it has the ability to be a lot more precise I mean the CGI that they had was already pretty good to begin with um, it was on par with what Blizzard used to do now what I found it's it, I think I got it but like what I found confusing was the idea that there's they shattered a ring or a ring was shattered but then an event was called the Shattering, which is basically the, the destruction of the world of the war that they had. So th there's two th events that use the word Shatter that might lead to some confusion, unless I got it wrong. Their art and presentation is very powerful, yes. I think it's likely because there were already a few CGI trailers for the other... Maybe. I don't know. I don't think... I don't remember seeing any. But I kind of expected, like, some heavy... Because I remember when they introduced... I don't think they were the the, the 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 kings or whatever they were called in Dark Souls 3, but they they showcased, like, some a dead dude. Uh, and that's, like... The one thing I remember from that cinematic is that undead dude, and he's like very, very um, oddly shaped and the colors and stuff like that. Tons of detail, but yeah. Okay. So the ring. So this is like backwards uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, that's a jump. Jump on A? Oh, because it's supposed to be B? Okay, I get it. Jump is where this button is. So this is going to be interesting. But should be fine. Uh, really like the intro. I think you'd actually prefer this intro over any of the other ones of the Soul series. Dark Souls 1 was confusing. And I didn't really know. Maybe if I watch it again, maybe I will figure it out, piece it together. But uh, I really didn't have a sense of purpose. And then again, they had the, like the rings. They, they kind of guide you to like, oh, ring the bells and stuff like that. But I don't know. Like I didn't know like, what my main purpose was, unless I'm confusing myself um, between Dark Souls One and Dark Souls Three. Dark Souls Three had more of a, you know, resurrect the kings or whatever. So, if I do... Was I not supposed to do an emote? Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, what does that one say? Praise the message. Praise the message. So, okay, so this is... Dark Souls asks, so this should be an attack, and this should be block. Okay, so, so far, it's pretty much Dark Souls 3. He does a little jig with his feet when he does that. Oh, that's fine. That's a power. Okay, or parry, I guess. And that's the part. Okay, so, and I can jump, apparently, which, um... Could you jump in Elder Scrolls? Uh, Elder Scrolls Dark Souls? I think he had to run. Um, oh, this is a dark little... Ooh, okay, so my guy has a little inner light, which is good. All games should do this. Okay, so... Can I run? Is that my run? Yes, that's my run. Okay. I think you could somehow, but it was a, it was a F, faff to get to work. Yeah, you could jump. I believe it's like you run and then you press a button after you jump, or maybe you have to press the the uh, not the run button after while running, and then the guy does like a little um, like a jump. But you couldn't jump like upwards to climb or anything like that. It was more like to skip like a tiny ledge. 
Um, at least that's what I remember. Switch action. What the? Touch bloodstain. Oh, somebody died here? What's your story, little guy? Night dude. And he's gone. Okay. I'm just familiarizing myself with, like, controls. Okay, that's what I was kind of expecting. Dodge roll is still in the same button. And my attacks are here. Okay. And apparently I have a jump. So. I got a finger. I ripped a finger off this dude. Okay. I think the ghosts are players playing right now. I think I clicked on a bloodstain though. So. No, they're usually red when they're um, bloodstains, aren't they? Ah, uh, through the pass. Claim your place as Zelda Lord. I'm assuming that's the game that put the. Whoa, there's a compass? I mean, it's open world, so I guess that makes sense. The bloodstain doesn't do anything? I'm assuming I, I, mean, I just spawned this dude as a bloodstain, right? Bloodstain hasn't worked yet. Seems like a bug. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that's what happens. Because every time I press it, after I wait a while, it looks like a dude just spawns, but maybe that's just coincidence. Okay, so I'm kind of scared to open this door. That's not what I did. I wanted to read the message. Are you ready? I don't know, am I? I'm just gonna... Okay, Oops. okay, so this is still good. Okay. Um... First impressions, real quick. The camera seems so much smoother. Maybe that's a placebo. I. Duh. Maybe that's a placebo, but it does feel smoother in terms of like uh, the speed at which you rotate the camera, although that could probably be set up in the settings, but also um, like sensitivity and all that, but also the way that it hugs like walls and stuff, the, it looks, it feels better. Uh, it's been a few months since I've played a Souls game though, so can I? Yeah, that's a, it feels so much better. So, good start. Precious item ahead. I don't know. That doesn't look... Um, I think that's like the first mistake I ever did with Dark Souls 1. Way back when he got released on PC the first time was trusting a message like that. It's like, oh, I'll just jump off a cliff and found no item. Uh, I kind of expected this to be a crate, but it wasn't. Well, it was a crate, but I, I, I wanted a chest. So what does that say? Praise the rolling. Yes. You get a thumbs up, because I'm excited and I'm happy all the time now. So, all right. So, there's another message. Got to read all the message just in case. Thank you. You got zero for good luck? Come on, you get a one. You get, you get a one. I don't know how he did that. Oh, it's, um... What button am I supposed to do? Whoa. Don't I have the, uh, what is that thing? Memory of Grace, okay. Multiplayer equipment. Crafting? How do I get... Oh, I can switch him. Okay, so... Jump uh, Troy, wave, bow. I think I will... 
Switch it. I've learned this one. Okay, this is a little weird to do. I don't know if I like this. Not the emote itself, but the... Um, the way to do it. I think Dark Souls 3 at least had a quicker, like you press a button, there it shows. I mean, it was a button specifically for uh, emotes. But it's... Uh, it's not that bad. It, it's just a you gotta go to the gestures to do it. Uh... Right, stick camera controls. Wait, did you expect people to get uh, through a door without moving the camera? I guess that could happen. Maybe. I mean, I'm not a console guy. Even I was like removing the camera. I think that's the first input I gave. Try jumping. No thanks. Well, I just jumped, but. Uh, beautiful. Is it? Oh, that is. Okay. That is gorgeous. Because I've figured, like, this is very... Like, that's not... It's pretty to look at, but there's not much to look at. So I couldn't say beautiful. But this? Okay, that that's... Changes things. Um, okay. I saw something move, but it's just this guy. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Wait, can I? Oh, that's so good. It feels so good. Cramped area, but I made it. And I'll, I'll thank you for it. And, oh, that's... Okay, pressing B to close a, a button, a menu, is dangerous. Because that doesn't happen in this game. I guess it's like, what, to get rid of it? It's closed. Okay. Same button. Same button. Do I get fall damage? Maybe not from this height. So, can I... <gasps> okay. I... Uh, we learned something. Mounted attacks. Uh, it's like Giggs died before fighting an enemy. Um, what I learned was that your guy climbs pretty quickly. And I say quickly in the sense that... Okay, so, hmm. He doesn't climb here, but... Here it looked like he climbed and then I jumped. Yeah, see that? So I pressed jump when I was about here. So of course I jumped to my death. Um, but there's nothing here, so, okay. What is that? Is that my souls? Retrieve lost runes. Ah, it's yellow, I like it. Okay, so it's got the slow pace. Okay, so it's a boss fight. No, not yet. They, could, they couldn't do a boss fight yet. You gotta learn how to deal with trash first. If only I had a coffin, what? Beware of fingers. Could this be a trap? It's a tutorial. It's not going to kill me. Okay. It can't. Enemy ahead. And try... What? Try attacking? Time for attacking. Okay. I'm going to read a lot of these to begin with because... Um, if only I had a... Hole. Okay. Behold running. That one's weird. It's going to... Prevent other people from being uh, Elden uh, 
king or whatever it's called. Cutting the rope. How did you get there? Yeah, he, he also tried it. Try finger butthole. <laughs> okay. How did he get up there? Technically, I guess you can maybe come back to the tutorial area um, and jump higher. Oh, that feels so weird being able to climb these rocks. Try jumping. I didn't even need to. You just just walk. Okay. Okay. Uh, tree. Yes, that's a tree. Good job. Yeah, I can't read it. Okay. Interesting. All right, enough of this. Let's try to play after this message. All the more wise, always fingers. Boss, boss already? Like, there's nothing to to like practice first. Like targeting and and whatnot. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, well, is it this button? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, that's uh, the Star Wars guy. General um, Grievous. Oh, I'm already technically... Oh, he, he hits me for pretty... Wait. Oh, I'm designed... It's designed for... To... I'm supposed to die here. Okay. Interesting. Let's... Uh... Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm supposed to die. I noticed that the moment I checked my inventory to see if I had Estus flasks, and I had nothing. Unless it spawns me right at the beginning, which if they did that... Am I supposed to see something? Well, I see the loading screen. Yeah, good tutorial. <laughs> well, you know what? I ain't mad. Kind of wished I saw what I heard. Oh, is that my buddy? It is. It's like game over. Hum, 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 hum. Starts eating me. I'm doing the whole Aragon thing. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Link. Wake up, Link. I wonder what happens if you beat that boss. I think it's designed so that you can't kill it. So in the sense, like, it could easily, like, drink a potion indefinitely, and then you're just out of resources. 
Yeah, see, now now I can fight, sort of. I think you get some half-decent loot, but you still have to die in order to progress. Yeah, that's... hmm. I guess, what, you can jump off a cliff if you kill him? Or does, like, an item that you just, like, stab yourself with it, and then... Serene tear. So one of them is potion for healing, and the other one's mana? That, it's so weird that there's no HUD, except for the compass. There's a light right there. HUD display. Thank you. Uh, so if I do that, it switches. Okay. So, X is for item. It disappeared again. My HUD disappears. Is it like after a certain amount of time, it just kind of disappears? It, interesting. Don't give up skeleton. I still haven't fought anything yet. Well, I, you know, sort of. Don't give up, skeleton. HUD option in settings? Maybe. I wouldn't put it past it. I find it, considering this is open world, I think it makes sense to, like, get rid of the screen. Uh, I just didn't expect that out of a Souls game. Hopefully, if your health bar is less than 100%, it still shows a health bar. Because if there's one thing that you absolutely need to know in these type of games is your health situation. And... My controller just died? Okay, that was weird. Don't know what happened there. Who needs a health bar? Yeah, no kidding. There's a dude right here. I thought it was a player, but... Take the plunge. I think HUD is always on... Yeah, yeah I kind of expected that. That, I w I'm not surprised that the HUD would show in combat. Um, kind of expected it with, like, sword swinging, though, but... Uh, still... Now, he's asking me to take the... Oh. Okay. I thought it was, like, an abyss be below, but it's not. Okay, I really like the aesthetics of this. Read message. Uh, Tree. Yeah, good job, dude. Okay. Let's, uh... uh... Can I move? I can. I'm afraid. Because he asked me to jump. I'm, I, like, sensory overload at this point. Oh good, it's a dead end. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. The lighting, I mean, it's such a simple thing. I mean, it's complicated as hell, but the lighting is fantastic compared to um, just Dark Souls 3. Like, I'm comparing what, from what I remember in Dark Souls 3, uh, and I think this has got to do with the global illumination thing, which I don't think they used in um, Dark Souls 3. And usually global illumination is like the idea of light bounces off, uh, bouncing off surfaces. And, um, oh, 
I can see some of the uh, immune occlusion. But the um, it, it creates a more softer lighting in general. And typically that's baked in in older games. And now they're sort of trying to do that real time. I don't know if that's what they're doing here. But games nowadays um, utilize enough technology that take advantage of this kind of stuff. So... Uh, what am I looking at? That's a boss room for sure. But yeah, the lighting looks so soft. And the reason why it wouldn't look that soft in, say, Dark Souls 3 is because if you were to bake GI, Global Illumination, onto the surface, right? So the light, light map information on the surfaces, um, it would be too expensive uh, on the memory to have that everywhere. And uh, in this case, like, well, it's hard to point, but the the way the gra gradient from like full light to dark area is very smooth. I really like that. It's subtle, but to me, I like, I kind of pick it up and it's like, Mwah. okay, so what do they say? Praise the rump? What is a rump? Is that, is that a rump? That's a bonfire. Okay. Should I have, like, jumped down? Nah. Uh, yeah, this is so good. Like, it, it's it's stupid because I'm, like, kind of gushing over, like, a wall. But... Okay, this is nice. I like the blue... Um, whoa! Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally. And your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. I don't remember them saying stuff like that in the other games. Because multiplayer is... Um, Kind of unintuitive. Okay, I think, yeah. Hmm. That sucks. My computer froze. Um, thankfully, not the one that you. S what the heck is this? More items? Oh, that's the item. Okay. The... Uh, I kind of want to... Let me, let me... System... Is there a save? Yeah, HUD auto. Interesting. Um... Is there a save? There is no save. Alright, I'm gonna take a risk. We're gonna. Yeah, oh, computer broke down. No! Uh, I can't see chat right now. And, um. Freaking sucks. Alright, give me a second. I'm streaming, or I'm broadcasting data um, on my, like, almost, what is it? It's like nine-year-old computer, and uh, it froze on me, and I was actually using the computer to see. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't have any impact on the, the game itself, so... I can just glance over at the other computer and see the uh, input. But I can't see chat right now, so I'm going to... Hopefully it won't do that again, because that's annoying. 
it do, it's a kernel panic that happens, and I haven't really found a way to um, to fix it. I don't know what's causing the kernel panic, but it happens like once a month or something like that. Uh, so. Let's go with this. How's chat? Okay, I can see chat now. Good. Let me go back into the game. That's one way to... Sorry about that. Colonel Penix are a pain in the ass to deal with. And the sad part is that you don't really know it happens until the computer's like, I'm out. So sometimes I see like a still image and it takes maybe about a minute for the computer to say, oh yeah, I forgot, I'm, I'm dead, you know? Um, so here we go. Okay. That was... Uh, that looks like a Mortal Kombat thing. Like, reptiles coming out of this. Those are the imp things. Okay. Okay. Is that an invisible wall attacking a head? Ooh, love the sparks. I love the sparks. That was a nice effect. Still no secret passage. Okay. Uh, is that an elevator? It is, or it's going to crush me in this. Okay, never mind. Okay. Try not to get lost. Okay. Like, am I already in the open world part, or is this still linear? I'm, I don't know. Ah. This is the open world part. And I'll do, like, what anyone would do is uh, just go back inside. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not done. Let's go back down. I am going to take my time to absorb as much of the game as possible. Um, especially early on. I, I, I feel like, you know, 30 hours into the game, I might, um, or 100 hours into the game, I might just, like, kind of go in one direction and stick to it. But early on, I'm probably just going to scan around and go in circles, like a spiraling pattern, you know, progressively... Uh, um, further uh, radius as I go around just to scan everything and make sure that I've done everything uh, I don't trust the fall damage it's so weird to do this in a Dark Souls game I mean it's not a Dark Souls game but still Ugh. okay maybe I could have survived this because the guy said like jump down okay Oh, and there's a there's a bonfire here. So this is like fully intended to be like a dungeon. Oh, it's literally the tutorial. What they put the tutorial in like the Oh, I don't know if I like that. That's dangerous. That's a huge risk on their end because it's like 
you have to notice the dude. And even if you did, you have to trust the dude to jump down. Otherwise, your reflex is to not fall down the hole. Unless you look down and you notice that it's not a... Uh, yeah, it's a missable tutorial, yeah. And not because the player wasn't like intended to like skip it, but it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, that's dangerous. Um, resting a set of grace will store HP. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I know that. You can find set of grace going. Yes, where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items. Can be accessed. From the inventory at any time. Info items? Okay, now I gotta. What the heck is an info item? Inventory menu. With the inventory menu, you can browse items, yeah? And drop them to the ground and throw them away. I mean, that I'm intrigued because, to my knowledge, Dark Souls has like basically an unlimited inventory. Uh, except for like carrying capacity, which in terms of like what you're equipped on yourself has a load. But you, as far as I know, you could carry as much stuff as you want. Um, okay. Show large image explanation. Toggle character data. Okay, it takes a while to load. Okay. Interesting. Lose all runes and return to the last site. So it's one of those, oh, what were they called? There is like an item you can consume and it reverts back to, it's a, basically a scroll, a town portal. Uh, that's disgusting. That's the right message. Oh, you write with the tip of the finger. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Um, well, it's disgusting, but I get it. Instead of using white chalk, it's like the chalk is already on the finger. Okay. Uh, item from... Uses a host. Fingers. Okay, so that's the multiplayer stuff. And that is create a summon sign for... Arriving as a cooperator. So this is if I want to be summoned, this is if I want to summon. Is that it? It's like a summoner, summon player and send them back. Oh no, that's banishing them. Use when you have been summoned to another player. Oh, it returns you back. Okay, so it's one of those... It's a town portal, but for your own game. Okay. Good evening from my time zone. Hello. It's an afternoon for me, so. Hopefully it's not too late. But I figured it's Saturday. What does that do? Oh, yeah. Increases flasks. Okay. Now, they said in something about... I have a great knife. This ain't a knife. Okay, so uh, I have a bow that I have to try. I have a buckler. Is that the info? Those are infos, right? Yeah, okay, so there's an info tab. Okay, yeah, that's kind of... That is really good. I um, kind of wish that other games did this. Um... I do miss the equipment. Oh, it's because it's right here. Okay. Okay, makes more sense. So. Wait, where's my bow? Got it. I can freaking attack with the, what? Oh, got it. Oh, this is interesting. This is a lot to take in. Um, Input-wise... Uh, 
Oh, this is so good. It remembers my my dagger. Okay. How many minutes have you missed? You missed character creation. You missed two hours, I think. Half hour, maybe? Okay. I thought I... Because I'm looking at the time, it's 2 o'clock, and I started in the afternoon. So maybe maybe I took a, a, a longer break or something before I started to stream. Um... But we are taking this very slowly. I mean, Deviate Fish, you were pretty much one of the first ones on the stream, or at least in chat, so... You might have a better idea of how long it took. So this is a bad guy. Oh, I, I, was, I was dreaming of this moment. When I could freaking. Oh, yeah! What does it say? Right? Shit. I missed it. Gix discovering the jump button and proceeding to jump to his death. His first death. Horse eating people. Amazing torch lighting graphics. Yeah, I guess that kind of sums it up. Good job, man. So, what was the button that... Is that a tutorial thing? No, that's the... Is that a tutorial thing? Nope. Oh, I'm gonna freaking sneak everywhere. Wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn to parry. Nope, that was wrong. Try again. I don't even know if I'm doing it right. That felt good. Alright. Alright, I'm liking this. Strong attack. Oh, okay. So, but there's a way to two-hand, right? Can I two-hand my dagger? Not that I would do that. That's my jump. Oh. Well, there goes the drinking potion. Okay. Uh, that's the HUD. Okay. Praise the Elden Ring. I don't know why I would praise it. It's too early. Okay, so let's do a test here. Oh, he was closer than he appeared. Okay. Hold X and right button to two hand. Okay, so let's see. Hold X. No. Uh, maybe this? Yeah, okay. I have to remember that X is... Yeah, it's the Xbox X. Yeah, it's Y. It's Y on... Uh... Well, that's the thing. It's Y on my controller, but the Y is where the X would be on an Xbox controller. So, as far as I know... So far, the buttons are nearly identical in terms of what button to press, just not where the button is, if that makes sense. So my B is next to my joystick at the bottom, whereas on the Xbox, that's where A is. But A works as A and B works as a, uh, B, right? So they're not flipped in terms of functions, they're just flipped in terms of position. Use an armament to your, uh, in your left hand, in both hands, to guard. I'm using a uh, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So the, the, the names of the buttons are the same. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Which makes it easier for me to... I mean, I still have to figure out what, like, the... The three horizontal bars represent, which I think that's start for me. 
which on the Nintendo Switch it's a plus. But other than that, I think it's like pretty much and LB for me is uh I think it's just L. So both hand guardian is especially effective with done with a shield guardian consumes stamina. Right. So let's press start. Yeah, that's what it is. So that's L. That's my L. This is my R. So okay. So now I want to. I want to do the, the sneaky. I want to do the sneaky sneak. What? Try to. You can avoid enemy attacks with a dodge roll or a back step. Both of the extra. Yes. Thank you. But I don't. I want to do the sneaky. I want to do. Oh. Okay. Uh, you saw through me. Oh, can I do the kick thing? That's not it. No, that's not it. Yeah, okay, so it's got Dark Souls 3-esque backstab ranges, which I'm not going to complain. It feels so weird to... Like, this feels so different, yet it looks the same. I can jump this. I can jump that. Try jumping. Oh, yeah. Do, do you think? I am going to do the, the thing, though. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to... Nope. The map! I didn't want to do the map. Okay. Beacon, through your map, you can select the site of grace you discovered. Oh, okay. Dungeons or other areas. What the? Is that me? Or is that me? Those are my, okay. So I'm here somewhere, unless this is underground and the map is like smaller than that. Okay, so I, I, I don't wanna, no, go back. Okay, so this is the button I wanted. Yeah. LucasArts! Hey, there's a dude up there. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at the green! Wow, a Souls games that have color! Ow! Okay, he's, he's an enemy. A Souls games that has color. That's so cool to see. Is that a... Is that a thing I can loot? Acquire materials? I don't know if I'll do item crafting, but I got a fruit. That looks like a... Yeah, that's... Okay, I'm just gonna freaking... Yoink. Is that a thing? Nope. Oh, my guy upstairs is pissed. Can I climb the vines? Is that a thing? Can I do the thing? No? Alright. So, I've noticed with vegetation, mostly, um, I'm going to change a graphic setting real quick, and I'm going to put that on high, because it was getting noisy. Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, so... How do I get up there? I wanna, I wanna kick his ass. Um, guess follow the light. Do I run? I can't Zelda climb, so I guess I'll run. Running. Oh, hey, text. Could this be Erd Tree? Could this be betrayal? I have no idea. Oh, there's a dude there. Hello. Oh, he's an enemy. Okay. He's got a bigger shield than I do. <laughs> oh god. Uh, each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments. Three? Oh, like three shields and three... Uh, okay. Making attacks more difficult. Okay. 
Yeah, so Y and... Interesting. Okay. Uh, can I do wield blocking? Oh, no, it puts the... Okay. Uh, give me my knife back. Okay. Oh, it's one of those guys. Freaking turtles. How do I... I guess they just taught me to do a power attack, so... I guess I'll do a power attack? I'm gonna break my knife. Hmm. Kick him. Yeah, I just don't know how. Because uh, is, is it... Now I, I'm, I'm struggling to, like, body... Because it's not this. It's not... That's power. Um, I could probably parry, maybe? What does that happen? He's not attacking. Okay, so I need... Input. Input. That's not input. That's not... Oh, I'm so dead. Um, I keep messing up the button. Okay, so this button... No. That's the button. This has a very, like, pulling down Y has a very Xenoblade Chronicles 2 vibe to it. Uh, how do I kick? Ah! I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready! So, oh... Because kicking in Dark Souls is like, you flick the joystick forward, and then you attack, right? But it doesn't do that. Or is it dodge, maybe? No. It's that, okay. That does nothing. What about, that's a jump forward? Okay. I think it's just a button in this, but there's like... No more buttons. <laughs> There's no more buttons. Wait. Oh, the game's not pause when I pause. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Come on, stab me again. I want to freaking parry. This is an ordeal. I'm, I'm embarrassed right now. Okay, uh, maybe I can sneak it? Hang on. With this guy? Maybe I can, um... He's not gonna follow me, right? He's following me. Oh, this is so... No! Okay, so I got the time. Uh, how do I... There's gotta be a kick, right? I mean, the tutorial just told me to, like, bypass the shield with a power attack, but I don't have the weaponry for that. Like... Am I supposed to... Oh, uh, that's awkward. Ah, well, I am technically hurting him, but... <gasps> yeah, alright. That was harder than it looked. <laughs> so I guess you just break the... Oh, it's because... Okay. Yeah, I think kick is okay. Maybe kick is a skill, but like okay. So, so the way I had it is that you only see the health bar, but I guess while blocking, because the player functions the same way, it's the it takes stamina to block. So I consumed his stamina by using a an attack of two, like two-handed attack, and that's where I staggered him. So I'll keep that in mind. 
Um, is yeah, that's a bad guy. I'm gonna. Oh, there's another bad guy. What is my character doing? He's excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Now, in video games, characters are right-handed, except for Master Chief. So, you're looking at me. This guy is not looking at me. Uh, I am going to... Ha ha ha. I'm not good with joysticks. Ooh, that was right in the face. Okay. Okay. Sneaky sneak sneak. While locked on target, change target. Yeah, no, I... I thank you. Close quarter battle? I don't know. Uh, cancel. I can easily do that without... Well, never mind. I'm not sneaky enough. Wait. Did he just... Yeah, I'm happy. Okay, this, this is good. And uh, another thing is that these props don't really, you know, work against you. And, you, you know, you're not knocking them around. You're not creating noise or anything like that. This is good. Hello. Where are you? Behold the message. Yeah, I was going to praise it. And uh, I will too. Yeah, there you go. 7171. Behold the message. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm supposed to do the thing. Uh, let's see. Wait, something broke? Someone's shooting at me. Imagine all the people who missed this tutorial. I mean... I can imagine it, but at the same time... It's not... Oh, I'm on the... Uh, the catwalk. Okay. It's... It's dangerous to do this because, yeah, you can miss the tutorial. But... At the same time, because the game is open world, or I'm assuming it's open world because they sold it as an open world game, um, you get to do whatever and learn as you go. I'm kind of annoyed by this though. Use arrows? Yes, I, I've learned how to use arrows. Thank you. Ah! Don't, don't, can I, oh, okay. I just spammed the stamina out of him. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I kind of expected to take damage. In an RPG, you always want to explore everything. Well, I, hmm. I understand the, the, uh, the mindset. I kind of disagree with it, though, and I, uh, I'll say this. A lot of RPGs, if not most of them, are designed in such a way that you kind of have to explore everything. Uh, that's how you can move forward in the older, you know, old school uh, RPGs. Like I'm thinking Ultima, I'm thinking Final Fantasy, that sort of thing. But for me, an RPG is just go where you want to go because your character has like the motivation to go a certain place. So, you know, if you're trying to kill a dragon because, you know, the princess is going to die or something like that in times of the essence, like say Fallout 2, where you have to uh, get a microchip to get the filter going with their water supply, like you have no reason other than game mechanics to explore. Um. So, you should always want to explore everything in an RPG, yes, but the game shouldn't make you. I think that's the, the best um, way to put it. So I agree with that statement to that extent.
uh, abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied. Consumes FP, which is like the mana stuff. Okay. What's LT? Left trigger, which is either my LZ or my L. But I don't think I have a. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Oh, I startled the guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, all right. Stealth recorded. Of course, I was born. I was born with stealth. Okay, so. I still want to know how to do the FP thing. I don't think my weapon has anything to do. Hmm. Odd tutorial. They should have said, like, if your class supports it. Attacking an enemy has noticed you will cause damage. Yes. Crouch, stand up. Yes. Oh, look at the... Poor guy minding his own business. Look at the rat dropping and all of a sudden a Gix... Yeah, a wild Gix appeared. He wasn't ready for it. Um... Oh, look at the lighting! So good. Oh, he's digging. I thought he was like, did he lose his glasses? That guy was distracted. Now, do I have a shovel? Like, can I dig? Maybe he was like looking dung? Oh, is that poop? No, I don't want to pick it up then. Oh, is it like Assassin's Creed, uh, hide in the bushes? Near a back turn enemy, critical hit. Yes. Oh, you're doing it on purpose. Okay. Yeah, this is very... Now, here's the best place to learn it. If I do a dodge roll, do I stay in stealth? I do. I'm bothered, maybe that's just me, but I'm bothered by the fact that I do 257 damage instead of 256. Or maybe even 255. Like, to me, that extra one point is, uh... Is doing something with my mind. Yeah, there is a hole there. I can't sneak through it. I could probably shoot arrows through it. Let's try it. Let's see if it's got like the Skyrim bullshit. Assuming there's an enemy. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. All right. Some may break an enemy stance. Some attacks may break an enemy stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks makes it particularly easy to break an enemy stance. Hold. Ah, so that's a charged. So if I do, I 
Okay, so I can't do it. I can't jump while charging. Interesting. Okay. So now... Will it matter? Because I'll freaking backstab it. Oh, no. Okay. It does matter. So... Ah! Wait. Yeah, you're as awkward as I am. <laughs> this is so awkward. Okay, so... Uh... Wait, I have to look at my controller to figure out which button I have to press. It's not like memory, uh, muscle memory at all. So, do this. Oh, and then I... Then I stab. God. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. I love the... For some reason... I love the fact that they added dirt to the rocks. Like, it's such a stupid thing, but... Or maybe it's not dirt, but like iron or something, but it makes it, um, copper. It varies, it's ju not just like gray or whatever. I really like that. What the heck is that? Pond 90 will revive at the last sight of grace. However, if there is a stake of Marinir, you can choose to be revived there instead. So they had like they have like mini checkpoints now? Is that a thing? I'm assuming they don't Do I have to hit it? I'm afraid to hit it. I don't want to hit it. Can I No? Is that That's just I'm near it and therefore I'll respond Oh. That's not good. Uh yeah. I am so dead. I'm below halfway point in health, and I have no more potions. Oh, and he's running. Why is he running? Guard counters. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy. Uh, guard counters make it easier to break an enemy's stance. Uh, you mean after blocking an attack? RT. Okay, so... Oh! Is that a thing? No, I'm dead! <laughs> okay. tutorial for this stake of okay i get it do i respawn with my potions though yeah it's like we've been expecting you uh give me a second the interruption I mentioned earlier uh, when I started the stream is happening soon, so I just want to make sure that we're going to kill this boss. I'm going to take a few minutes break, maybe 15 minutes to half an hour, and then we'll be able to play throughout the entire day. So I'm just going to... Uh, you will drop any runes. Oh, right, so runes are souls. If you die again before reclaiming the runes, they will be lost. The compass at the bottom of the screen. Bottom? Oh, top. Wow, my reading is insanely bad. Uh, the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. I was like, there's no compass at the bottom. Uh, okay, so... Oh, they're right here. Interesting. How do I pick him up? Oh, it's all in the Y. So... Nope, that's not it. That's not it either. 
Time out! Time out! Okay, now. Nope. Nope. Oh, this is... Oh! Nope. Okay, maybe I can't do it. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> it told me to parry, right? Ooh, nice loading screen. I gotta go run and grab it. Oh crap, wrong button. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I can just. Not really guard, counter attack. Oh, just freaking block him and then fight. Alright, well. Oh, chunky. Alright, when you're down. Do noble thing. Yeah, could have done that on the first try. Enemy failed. Wasn't it like vanquished in uh, the other games? I don't know if I prefer it over the. If you go to the inventory and go all the way to the right, you can see all the tutorial messages again. Yes. Yes, that's true. Whoa. Cursor went to crazy. Um, are they in order? They're not in order. Now to figure out which one was brought up. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. Is that it? Yes, that's what the that's the message that he, it had. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Okay, so you're just saying it's not it's a counterattack because it's an attack that you you do after blocking, but it's not like a counterattack. Like it's not a specific move called a counterattack. Okay, that's uh, misleading slightly, but should be fine. Uh, hey, the uh. It's not a typical counterattack. Yeah, okay, so that's what I was trying to do. Oh, and he leaves you right here. Sweet. Okay, so. Nah, I'm gonna have. That's a bad habit to have. Joy. You know what? I, I am joyful, so let, let's uh, give you a point. I finished a tutorial. Strength, yes. Oh, and you don't get the emote if you don't do the tutorial? Interesting. Braise the pickle. Sure. My sandwich. Okay, so... Didn't expect gesturing. Yeah, me neither. That's, uh... Whoa, dangerous. Okay. I gotta learn the buttons. Gotta learn the buttons. So... It's a counter after the fact that you've hit the... Yeah, I, I, I get it, but it's one of those things where I wasn't prepared for it. So what I'm going to do is, because we've gone through here, I'm going to rest just because. And I'm going to take that break that I mentioned earlier. So 15, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. I can't expect longer than that. And then uh, I'll be right back. So... Uh, Thanks for dropping by. If you're, um, you know, if you're just hanging out, the stream will get back up, up uh, hopefully by itself. I'll leave the chat unlocked for now, and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right.